All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to clean the text properly and how to remove punctuations and how to make sure that the text is in lower case. So for example, if our text says, I adorate love Python with an exclamation mark, it will print out I love Python in lower case and it will remove all the punctuations from it, such as the adorate sign and exclamation mark. In this video, we are gonna learn about tokenization and what are stoppers and how to remove them from our text. So let's just focus on tokenization first. So tokenization is just a fancy way of saying that how to break up the sentence into words. So for example, right now a clean text says, I love Python. If we break the sentence into small words, it will say, I love and Python. So there are three words in this. And if we store these three words in a list, then it's basically known as tokenization. Very simple, it's just like a fancy word that is used in natural language processing, but don't worry about it. So what we are gonna do is we are just gonna like um, just create a variable, let's just call it tokenized underscore words. And after that, we are gonna write clean text underscore text. And then we are just going to use the split function that is inside Python to make sure that we get the words separately and they are stored as a list inside this tokenized word. So now we're just gonna print this out to make sure that it's working. So let's actually just paste this tokenized words over here and run our main.py program again and you'll be able to see that the words are in a list separately. So this process of breaking a sentence, the sentence that has been cleaned, the text that has been cleaned into different words, into three words in our case, is known as tokenization. So this read.txt is right now very small, but imagine there is like a essay over here that contains more than like 500 or 1000 words then this technique makes more sense. Another reason why tokenization is important is because NLP or natural language processing is the analysis of words and not sentences. And that is why we need to break these sentences into words that we can analyze later on. Now that we are done with tokenized words, let's focus on stop words. So what exactly are stop words? So let me just write it down, write down a new variable, stop underscore words so that you know how it's pronounced. It's basically stop words. So stop words are the words that don't add any meaning to the sentence. For example, in our case, I doesn't add any emotion meaning, emotional meaning, or any kind of meaning to our sentence in terms of natural language processing. So these words that don't add any meaning to the sentence can be removed. And these words are basically known as stop words. So if you're using NLPK, which is a package of Python, which is used for natural language processing, it already contains a lot of stop words. But because right now we are doing it manually, we need to copy a list of stop words that we can remove from tokenized words. So what I want you to do is go to github.com, Atreabhat, this is my name, Atreabhat. I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but just copy this link and then sentiment analysis and it will take you to this page. Then just click on main.py file and then you can just copy this stop words list from here. And this code also contains, this whole page also contains the whole code that we are going to be creating. So this is the GitHub link if you want the code. But anyways, for now, just copy all of these list from here. I'm also going to be adding them to the description of this video so you can just copy that from there. So just copy it from now from here and just paste it over here. And just look at the list that we have over here and you'll realize there are a lot of words that don't add meaning to our sentence. For example, the first word is I and as I told you, I in our case doesn't add any meaning to our code or to our sentence in terms of analyzing it. So now that we have stop words, we need to remove them from the tokenized words. And the way to do it is using a simple for loop. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna minimize it for now, and I'm gonna add a for loop over here. And first, even before the for loop, let's just create an empty list and just, just call it final words because these are the final words that we are going to be analyzing and we're gonna initialize it as an empty list. Then we are gonna create a for loop that is going to loop through all the tokenized words that we have. Right now we just have three words so we can do it manually, but because we might increase the length of the sentence and it might be an essay of thousand words even. So that's why we are gonna use a loop. So I'm just gonna write for and then words in tokenized words because we want to loop through the tokenized words one by one and temporarily store them in this variable of words. And actually instead of words, let's just call it word because it's gonna be taking individual words one by one. And then inside this, we are just gonna scroll down and I'm gonna put a condition that if a tokenized word is inside stop words, then we are gonna remove that word from our tokenized words list and store it in this final words list. So what I'm gonna do is, it's very easy. I'm just gonna write an if condition if the current word that we got is not in 
let's just write not in stop words and stop words is also a list so we can check it like this and then if the word is not in stop words then the word can be finally stored inside this final words list and how do you do that you just write final words dot append and then you just append the word inside that and now just to check whether it's working or not i'm just gonna print final words over here so that we know whether it's working and i forgot the print line let's just write print and copy and paste this from here to over here and let's just print this out and see if it works so let's run the main file and as you can see over here are the tokenized words all the words and then it checked whether the tokenized words is in the stop word or not if it's not only then it gets appended to the final words list and now we can analyze this final words list by using our natural processing concepts and just to kind of go through these three lines again because you might be a little bit confused what we are doing is first we created an empty list of final words where which will contain all of our final words that we can finally analyze using nlp and what we did was we first took all of these words that are that are in tokenized words and we made sure that we can individually check whether these words are inside this stop words list or not so the first iteration the i came over here and then it got checked if i is not in stop words but it was there so it didn't get appended to final words list and then it came love which was not inside this stop words so it got appended to this final words list and same thing with the third word that is python and you might be a little bit confused as to how python is adding meaning to the sentence it's actually in this case it's not really the only emotion that we care about is love but what happens is that we can't actually add all of these stop words in this world so this is a very general list of stop words that we can analyze and say that these words should definitely not be in words otherwise we'll be just wasting our time if these words are in a sentence. So first what we do is we remove these stop words from the sentence so that our timing of analyzing text gets shorter. Right now it's just three words so it doesn't really matter but imagine if this contains like 10,000 words and then it will be very difficult to analyze them one by one obviously because you have a good computer you can do it very easily but if this read.txt contained like a book then it gets very important to remove the stop words that don't add meaning to our natural language processing so for example i is actually if you're analyzing a book i me my these come a lot in text that's why it's very important to remove them just to kind of save time so now that we have removed text and we have printed out our final words we can we can go on to analyzing what kind of emotions are present inside our final words and that we'll be discussing in the next video so that is going to be really really exciting so i'll see you over there